Hey team, Coach Cop here. Uh, I'm just going to diagram two of our new plays that we have. I'd like you guys to watch this video and kind of study what is happening here. So the new plays are going to be called Horns and Horns Twist. We're going to do Horns first. We're going to have the four and the five line up at the elbows. Those will be primarily our post players, our bigger guys. The two and three will be our perimeter players, and the one is going to be our point guard. We might have a few other guys try point guard as well to give some more options. So the offense is going to start with the point guard trying to dribble up in this direction towards the middle of the court. The two big guys are going to come and they're going to set two ball screens right there. So I'm trying to make you nice and big with wide feet, um, a nice stable base. We don't want you to just stand there. We want you to kind of you know, come up, try to find the defense a little bit. When the defense is about ready to run into you, you do have to get still. But don't be just a statue there. Try to come up, be big, be physical, all right? The point guard, the number one, is going to have the option to go either direction, all right? And the point guard should mix it up. They should not always go the same way. So let's say he comes, the point guard comes off of the five screen, all right? So option one is real simple. I would want the point guard, if nobody helps, to dribble in and get a layup. That would be ideal. Now, the team's not just going to let us do that every time, the opposing team. So we might have to have some other things happen. But that is our first option. Notice how close I have one coming to five right there. Because I want him to kind of rub off of his, um, you know, his screen right there. If you are a big guy, a post player, and your point guard comes in to your side, your job would be to run to the weak side block. So you're going to set your screen, and then you're going to go to the opposite block because there's a good chance your defender is going to help on that screen. You might be the one open. So one's option, number one option is to score. His number two option is to look to the big guy cutting back to the basket. All right. Now, there is a chance that four's defender is going to all of a sudden help on this too. Four, if they don't come to your side, what you want to do, your, your point guard didn't come to your side, your job is to come right to the free throw line right there, and you are our third option. Okay. So option one, point guard gets a layup. Option two, we pass to the five man who's cutting to the block. Option three is we're going to pass to the four man. One, if you feel like you're getting walled off and you can't pass to the five, most likely the guy that will be open will be your four man right there. Now, let's talk about what the two and the three do in this play. They don't just stand there. Um, they're going to stand there initially uh, in the corners to spread the floor. We don't want them diving into the block, all right? to try to get rebounds or anything like that because it's going to crowd it up. We want to, you to stay spaced. So let's talk about the three first off. The three, if the one did not come to your side, really you're not any use down in that corner and you really aren't going to cut in, we're going to have you start to come up this way. All right, so you're kind of filling those spots that are up top there, trying to bring your defender back up. Now, two, you have a scoring option. I would say you're our fourth scoring option. The reason I say that is because your guy might look to help as well. So you have some spots you can go to. I want you to think about kind of coming to this short corner right there, not going all the way to the block, and you might be able to catch for an easy shot right there if your guy helps. Another option is you might come up this way, and one might pass you the ball here, and then you could maybe attack, um, but I don't want you crowding in. So you're going to kind of read where'd your defender go and try to pick one of those two spots to go in. All right. So again, to review, option one is point guard attacks and he looks to score. So I'll put a one right there. That's the point guard. So our point guard is dribbling all the way in to score. Option two, oops, let's put that in red. Option two is we would want our big guy to catch the ball right there. So that's our second scoring option. Our third scoring option 
would be with our four man coming back to the free throw line right there. And then our fourth option to score would be our two man right out to the side there. So those are the options we have. Four options, simple ball screen, and the point guard's got to be smart enough to read what's going on and find his open teammate or score for himself. We are going to call that horns. Horns twist. Now, the cool thing is, guys, these plays are run by NBA and college teams. Um, so I did a lot of studying of what's going on here. And um, there's a lot of options we could do out of these. We're starting with some of the basic ones. And we're going to just stick to these two for now. So we're going to call this one horns twist. So essentially, we would hold up our horns hand and we would twist our hand if we were calling it out. So same setup, which is nice. We don't have to think about that. I want my five man and my four man to pop up just like they did in the last one. But this time their goal is not to set a screen. It's to receive a pass from the one. So again, the one would dribble up the court and he is going to pick a big guy to throw to, all right? Let's say he throws to the five man, all right? The five man's gonna catch the ball and he is gonna turn and square up. And if he gets the ball, we're gonna try to run a two man little play with the five and the two, all right? And we'll demonstrate what that looks like here. Now, what we want to have happen is the one, the four, and the three who are not kind of on the side of the ball right now, your job is to set a double screen for the three, the one and the four. So it's going to look like this. So the five man catches it. One is going to then cut with the intent of setting a screen for the three man. The four is going to do the same thing. So you guys are setting a double screen for number three. All right, so the three men, and, and as this is happening, five and two are going to be doing something over here, and you guys are all going to be doing something on this court, uh, side of the court. The three men will set it up, and the three men is going to come up towards the top area right here, possibly getting ready to receive a pass from the two. All right, so that's what's happening on the weak side of the floor. And when I say weak side, I mean the side away from the ball. All right, so imagine like there's a line. You know, just do a dotted line right down the middle of the court. The ball is currently in the five man's hands. All right. The five man has it right now. He caught it right there. That's that blue dotted line. So the weak side would be the other side. So the five and the two are going to run what we're going to call a dribble handoff. So he's going to square up to the basket first. And then he is going to start to dribble at the two man. I would say it's going to be two dribbles, probably maybe three. Um, but he's going to start to dribble at the two. Now, this is where the two gets to be creative. He has two options, all right? It all depends on where his defender is. Let's say his defender is right where that X is right there. That's where two's defender is, that green X. Well, the obvious play then would be a backdoor cut. So if you see this two and five's dribbling right at this guy, I don't think that they'll be there too often, but they might be. So if he's dribbling at the two and the two notices this, he's going to cut back door and the five should try to throw him a little bounce pass for a layup and the two would drive in and shoot a layup. Okay. Now, I think a lot of times that's not where they're going to be. So let's go ahead and just go back a couple slides. I'm going to undo my little dotted lines here. Let's say the green X man is now right here. All right, so that's where I think he'll play more often than not. So what the two is going to do, he's going to set it up low. So he's going to kind of come low, and then he is going to come and run towards his five. The five will pick up his dribble and do a little handoff with the idea of the two attacking the middle of the paint. Okay, so essentially we're looking to get the wing guy a chance to either cut back door or get a dribble handoff. Now, what are the other guys doing again after the five hands it off? His job is to go to that block right there because his defender might help. Let's say his defender, let's put a big X right here. Let's say the five's defender's there and he's, and he's like, I'm going to go and stop this guy. You might be wide open, big man, for a quick dump down pass for a layup. Okay, 
So the two has scoring options. Let's just diagram. I'm just going to put them in uh, blue right here. So scoring option one is our two man getting right there. Scoring option two is our big man rolling back to the basket right there. And then scoring option three is we are going to, if you all get cut off, we've hopefully set a good screen for our three man. Remember, he was on the weak side. He came up. We could throw him the ball there. Now, I don't want him shooting from there. So, you know, so the two man might pass out to him here. Okay, so it might go out to that three man. He could look to drive into the paint at that point. All right. So that is Horn's twist. Gentlemen, I want you guys to watch the, this video multiple times to see what's going on there. We are going to review these in practice. I would love to get to more options out of this. We're going to start with this, though, and I think this will be good enough to give us some different looks. And hopefully, with not a lot of passes, we are attacking the paint and trying to get good scoring opportunities. We're going to try to focus on looking at these particular um, scoring options. So watch, ask questions, and I hope to run these in our next game.